keeping the ball on the ground. Was there anything in particular going on with you tonight? Uh, I think the ball was just up a little bit. Um, both of the uh, sliders that Arenado um, flew out on were up, and they kind of just spun a little bit uh, and didn't really break down. Um, you know, I think in some of the situations on the home runs, I think I probably threw the wrong pitch at the wrong time, and it was probably the one they were looking for. They took some uh, really good swings on some pitches that actually were located pretty good. So, um, and then uh, other than that, I mean, you know, every now and then you're you're just working on a few things. That's what Robbie and I were trying to do. Um, you know, it's still I understand it's an exhibition game and it's the last one tune up, but um, I think that's the first time Robbie caught me since spring training. So, um, you know, we were working on on a few things and and. Uh, you know, I had a plan going into I wanted to work on, you know, A, B, and C, and, and uh, was able to do that. So it was good. Other questions, please. No questions? Kevin? Can I ask you a question that's um, not about the game or the performance tonight? 100%. Let's do it. Um, so... You know Lance, and you've known him for a while, and you've been teammates with him. Um, how have you seen him evolve as, as not just a pitcher, but kind of as a person over the last couple of years? Um, <laughs> as a pitcher, I don't know that he's really evolved uh, <laughs> too much. Uh, he, uh, I feel like he makes a, a pretty personal statement that he's going to do the same thing every time, and he's just better than the other guy. So. Uh, he might mix in uh, a couple more off-speed off-speed pitches here and there, but um, we talked quite a bit about uh, his stubbornness with his fastball, and he really likes all three of them. So, um, as a person, uh, yeah, I mean, I think uh, I think there's been, um, you know, uh, I didn't really know him a whole lot before 2018. You know, I grew up, you know, 30 or 40 miles from him in Indiana, um, but we didn't play each other. Never ran into him. He was a year ahead of me. Um, played against him one time in college, but same thing. You know, didn't know him before, so I didn't. Not like we went out to dinner or anything, and met up during uh, that regional. But um, you know, 2018, getting to know him a little bit um, was a really fun process. And then kind of seeing where he is at. You know, this year, um, you know, it's uh, it, it, he's just. Um, I don't know. I mean, I'm not gonna sit here and say he's like, you know, more emotional or more like, you know, sensitive. I mean, I don't think that's it. I mean, I just think he. Um, you know, he, he was under a lot of veterans in St. Louis. So I don't know that he, uh, really had that leadership role there. Um, and I know in Minnesota, that was really kind of the first time that he had kind of taken on that. Um, and then this year, uh, you know, being back with him, you know, you can kind of see how he embraces that leadership role on the pitching staff and, and in the locker room with, with the position players as well. And, um, you know, he, he was brought up by a lot of guys in St. Louis that did things uh, a pretty good way. And, and um, you know he's putting his own spin on on being a leader and and uh, you know trying to make this clubhouse culture as, as good as he can make it. Sir. Yep. Other questions, please. For Kyle. Levi. Hey, Matt. Um, you said you were working on a couple of things with Shreenas. Is that something you could be more specific on, or was that something you would prefer to kind of keep? No. Um, I mean, I think the one thing I was working on, you know, my last start, um, I think I had four walks, and a lot of them were just because my fastball was way out of the zone. And, um, you know, ironically, I'm going to say that I did something better when I had a four-pitch walk to start the game. But, you know, once I, once I got kind of into that rhythm a little bit, you know, obviously everything was in a strike zone. And, and um, I mean, I'm guessing I think I threw about twice as many strikes as I did balls. So considering the first guy was four straight, um, you know, I'll take that. And, um, but mainly, you know, one of the big things I was working on was down and away fastballs to righties um, and, and both four seamers and two seamers. And, um, you know, early in the count, trying to use that and, you know, get early swings, you know, that, uh, that are going to keep the ball on the ground and, and probably keep the ball in the park. And um, was able to do that pretty good. Um, and um, I'm trying to remember if we were working on anything with off speed. Um, I've been pretty happy with my off speed. You know, ironically, my slider was probably my worst pitch today, so I'll, I'll work on that a little bit in the bullpen this time through. But, um, you know, I think some of it was was uh, whenever you get a new team in there as well, you just want to make sure you keep the same same uh, same tempo a little bit. And that's something I've been talking a little bit with Julio. You know, from the bullpen to the mound is is keeping your tempo going. But um, mainly mainly it was fastball command today. Really trying to. Really trying to get that in the zone and and uh, do a better job of, of locating that up and down and in and out. 
Thanks. Yep. Other questions, please. Jeff? Hey, uh, Kyle, after four outings, uh, whatever you want to call it, what's your read on how this ballpark is going to flow? Um, I mean, I, I think uh, it's tough to say. I mean, yeah, I think in general, probably from bullpen to bullpen, it's going to play pretty fair. Um, I mean, I think down the lines, it's probably still yet to be seen. I don't know that I've given up any wall scrapers yet, so I really can't complain that uh, a ball has somehow barely made it out of the park. I've given up pretty healthy shots so far. So um, uh, I feel like um, we're just going to have to see. The other thing, you really can't tell unless you see, you know, exit velo, launch angle, and kind of see where the ball ends up. Uh, you know, when you start seeing some balls that are 94, 95, uh, and the guy kind of gets jammed a little bit and they're going over the fence, or, you know, a guy hits it 98, 99 and good launch angle and it's 15 feet short of the fence, then you can kind of start telling, you know, how it's going to play. But um, without that information, it's probably probably not quite fair to, to make a big judgment right now. Thank you. Yep. Other what else we got? Kyle, just curious, with the, the actual full game presentation going on around you tonight with the anthem and everything, how did that ooh, how did that feel? How was it any weirder than you expected? About what you expected? Uh, I mean, I think it's probably about what I expected. It's um, it's really it's it's basically impossible to mimic uh, the energy and uh, the feel that fans bring to the game. Uh, you know, you can play fan noise on a 3-2 pitch, um, but when you don't see uh, the fans, and, and I'm sure they're not going to actually let teams play fan noise as loud as fans would get. Um, but uh, so it, it's got a different feel. Um, but, I mean, you know, when I'm on the mound, you know, you don't necessarily notice it as much. Uh, you hear the other team a little bit more. You know, you hear, you know, comments here and there. Um, but other than that, um, I would say that that's probably the biggest difference is, is uh, you know, being able to kind of feel that energy that that's in the stadium in certain situations. Was was that difficult to fight through at all, or, or is it? Is it? No, I don't. I don't think so. Uh, I mean, I think you know, at the end of the day, it's you know, everybody's played in you know Tampa or a few places that don't get as many fans for whatever reason, and um, you know, you can still hear things there. So. Um, it's not like we, we haven't played in those stadiums. It's just been a while probably since you've consistently played in those. Um, but, I mean, it's, it really comes down to, to just being able to focus, you know, on the task at hand and, and make sure that uh, you really understand that, um, you know, this guy in the box, he doesn't care if there's crowd noise. He's trying to, you know, drive a baseball. And, and uh, at the end of the game, I'm not going to be able to sit here and say, man, you know, I really would have had a better outing if the fans would have been able to be in the stands and been behind me. So, um, you know, it's an adjustment, but it's it's something that um, you know we got to get used to pretty quick. It's just like facing those legion hitters. Yeah, it's exactly right. That's <laughs> exactly right. Thanks, man. Yeah.